Hi guys, it's Destiny, and this is going to be my one month postpartum update because tomorrow Sawyer and I will be both one month and one month postpartum. So, um, I can't believe the time has gone by like so fast. I feel like it's like ridiculous. I don't feel like I had her a month ago, but oh, sorry, Whew, just burped in my bras. Just, <sighs> um, I can't believe I had her a month ago. It just seems like um, I had her yesterday, but, you know, I didn't. So, you know, obviously, or else I wouldn't be making this video. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Um, excuse me, I'm, like, a little bit spaced because I just had um, some coffee because I was, like, struggling. The struggle is real. Today was, like, my first full day at home with both the kids alone. So, um there weren't any tears, there almost were, but there weren't any, and I'm just, um, I had some coffee to try to wake myself up to make it through the rest of this day. It's about 5 o'clock now, so, anyways, um, what has changed since my last update? I did an update at three weeks, so, um, not much has changed as far as, um, I guess, like, I guess, I guess a few things have changed, actually. Um, she's not really sleeping that well um, anymore. Um, she tends to sleep well at night, I would say. She only wakes up to feed. Um, but some nights are really rough, and between, like, 1 and 5, like I said in my last update, she will wake up and cry incessantly and can't be consoled, doesn't really want to feed, doesn't want to be held, like, nothing works. So that's been kind of a struggle, but me and my husband have just been working on it on and off. Like, you know, I'll take her one night and then he'll take her the next. So we've just been doing that and it seems to be working for us. Um, he doesn't have boobs, so obviously if she is hungry, I do have to feed her myself. But um, I'm trying to build my freezer stash back up so he can help feed. Um, those same freezer bags, the pump and save, because those are the ones I like, the Medela pump and save, I can just screw on to my um the cups that go on I don't really like the bottles and then have to throw it in the bag or else I would oops sorry um <laughs> phone did something weird got a text or something um so yeah anyways um been dealing with that her waking up like I'd say maybe two or three nights out of the week she does that um the other night she'll just sleep throughout the night and only wake to feed and then goes right back to sleep um I've also, this sounds terrible, but I've also been trying not to change her at night unless um, while I'm feeding her I notice a huge blowout happening because it seems when I do, whether I change her before I feed her or after, she does not want to go back to sleep. She just, that's, that'll end up being a night that she just cries incessantly. So I'm, I change her, we'll probably put her down around 9, 30, 10 and then we get up at like 6, 37 so she isn't sitting in it for too, too long. But, um, she hasn't had any kind of diaper rash. Nothing has been red, so I've been keeping an eye on that. Um, and I'll show you my favorite diaper rash cream in case she does, or in case the kids do break out in something. Um, because during the day I change their diapers every hour, every hour and a half, two hours, something. It's getting changed every hour, hour, ugh, every hour or two hours regardless. Um, well, I should say if there's a mess, if they don't pee or poop for two hours, you know, Obviously, I'm not going to change a clean diaper, but um, this is the La Vanilla, and like I've heard of their deodorants and stuff at Sephora, um, but I just, I like deodorant that has an antiperspirant in it, so I will probably never purchase um, their like vanilla, I think it is, and they have a coconut one or something deodorant. I won't purchase that, but because I like antiperspirant, I want something that's going to prevent me from sweating, not just fragrance my sweat, like I don't want freaking vanilla sweat ew anyways um this is called the healthy baby bottom instant relief 100 percent natural diaper rash cream it heals soothes and protects this is awesome i have like a regular desitin and i have a maximum strength desitin those suck and i hate the smell it just is terrible and i feel like i have to goop it on there for it to even like put a dent in any kind of redness because sometimes when wyatt eats mangoes or kiwis or any kind of or pineapple like a really acidic fruit um when he poops like no matter if I change it the second it comes out of his butthole or if we're in the car and we get where we're you know our destination and then I change him like it doesn't seem to matter it will still be red so this um this though like clears it up almost immediately um and it doesn't have a weird chunky smell yeah there's like 
there's like no smell at all to it and it's just really great and I found mine at TJ Maxx for five dollars but um this is awesome it's lasted a really long time you don't need hardly any at all and it's just really great. It's pediatrician approved, chemical free, hypoallergenic, 30 vitamins and minerals for babies, kids, well, kids and sensitive adults. So I really recommend this. So that was a big long side note. Um, let's see. On back onto postpartum update and one month. Um, she's also been um, just feeding, cluster feeding a lot more. I don't know if she's going through a growth spurt or not, but that's been kind of difficult because I can't seem to really set her down, at least during the day, um, for more than like 20-30 minutes and she wants to eat again. And she's getting plenty of food because when I do pump, I'm still getting um, three to five ounces out of um, one boob, like each boob, so I'll get like six to ten ounces from one pumping session. Um, I don't know why I'm still holding that, sorry. <laughs> so, um, but she does not like to eat off my right boob. She does not, like, this boob's always a little bit more, like, not really engorged, but more full than this one because she hates this boob. So if we're out in public and she's, like, having a fit, even if I just fed her off this one, I'll feed her off this one again. Just, just you know, so I don't have a screaming baby wherever I am. Um, she doesn't, I save this boob for at home because she really hates it. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, the letdown is still the same, um, I guess it's just, I'm assuming the milk tastes the same as it does over here, so I don't really, the lactation consultant said the flow could be different, so I don't really know how different it could be, but she really does not like this boob at all. I know that this boob does produce less milk than this one for when I pump, I usually get, um, half an ounce to an ounce less out of this boob than this one, but, you know, she said every baby has a favorite boob, and my left is Sawyer's favorite, so... Go figure. Um, what else has changed? Oh, we've also moved up a size in diapers. She's now in size one diapers. Oh, <laughs> my baby. Um, in case you guys don't know, she was six pounds, nine ounces at birth. And now um, I need to weigh her. But I'm pretty sure she's at least eight and a half pounds now. Um, she's really heavy. <laughs> and I'm sure if you see my pictures on Instagram or Facebook, she's getting chunky. Um, I have about two to three more newborn outfits that she hasn't worn yet so I'm trying to get her in those before she moves up to um, three months or zero to three months because everything's just so like small and tight on her now and I, I don't want her going around in tight uncomfortable clothes and she has so many clothes so I want to get her to wear everything um what else has changed I think that's about it um I've started breaking out around here like hormonal acne. Um, I have a nice little friend here. We can't really see because the lighting is kind of terrible. But yeah, I have a nice little friend here. Um, it's not really a nice friend. It sucks. Um, and I have some little bumps here and there. But I've been like putting some um, medicated wash on my face every night. And it's clearing up. Um, constipation has gotten better. Um, it's not 100% better, but it's a lot easier for me to go. I've just been having one to two cups of coffee a day, which I hate to do because I hate that I, it's going through my breast milk and she's getting it. Um, I don't want to cause any more gas or upset tummy than, you know, a newborn already has. Um, just from getting used to not, you know, feeding through the umbilical cord and stuff like that. Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the sake of my butthole and my sanity. I, you know, I'm gonna drink that coffee. Um, weight, I, I think I said in my last update I was unsure, but I was 135 last week and I weighed myself today. <laughs> and I'm like one, 139, 140. I've gained like four or five pounds. Like, ugh. My mom and sister were here and they're like, I love them to death, but they're super bad influences as far as eating goes. So I've been eating terrible, but hopefully I can get that under control in the next few weeks. I can lose that pound, you know, four or five pounds. Like I just really was happy at the weight I was at and I don't want to gain weight. I've already had the baby. I don't want to look like I'm having another one right now. So anyways, I think that's about it for this update. Um... Like I said, I, all right, I'm going to try to get Sawyer in an, in an update. Um, I want to do one like just with a camera on her and then just share some things, some new things that she's been doing. But she's been cooing a lot more. She's been spending more time awake during the day. Um, she's really been following us with her eyes. Um, she's really strong. She wants to stand just like her brother did at this point. Um, she's crying more. So I, I don't know if she's going to be as colicky as Wyatt was, but she's definitely getting there. Um, 
yeah, and she just loves snuggling with me. She loves being on my chest and hearing my heartbeat. And she loves being, like, kind of bounced and patted on her back at the same time. That's how we get her to sleep usually. And I carry her whenever we go out. I don't even know why I wasted time getting a double stroller. Um, I carry her all the time, and then I push Wyatt in a buggy or in his single stroller. So that's been working for us. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, I'm going to try and get a May Favorites video up soon and just some current mommy favorites. And I need to do a 14 month update on my son because he is doing a ton of new things that he wasn't doing when I did the 12 month update. But thank you so much for watching. Sorry, this is kind of short. I'll do a quick belly shot and then I'll let you guys go. Excuse my PJs. Well, my husband's PJs. I just wanted to be comfortable today. This is from the side with the shirt on. Like I said, I gained five pounds since last week. Don't judge me. Don't call the fat ass police. Not saying if you're 140 pounds that you're a fat ass, but I just feel fat and bloated and gross. Um, my stretch marks are fading still. Um, this is from the front. And this is from the other side. Oh yeah, look at the jiggle. <laughs> it's just jiggly. Um, not too bad, but I mean I'm happy still, but it could be better. Anyways, um, excuse that. Um, thanks so much for watching again. Sorry I look like crap, but... Like I said, this is the first day of me being at home with both kids alone, so I did good to wash my ass and straighten my hair again and throw on um, a little bit of concealer and do my eyebrows. So be happy you got that. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.